everyone. My name is Marta Ming Messina. I am a first grader from Lynn School. And today I am going to talk about the topic called animal testing. This topic is not only very interesting, but it's also very meaningful. And it's a very important thing to listen and talk about. So let's deep dive right into this topic. So today we're gonna talk about few po a few points. The first point is what is animal testing? Second is, why should we stop animal testing? Third is, alternatives to animal testing. And finally, we will conclude. So first of all, what is animal testing? The term animal testing refers to procedures performed on animals uh, to, you know, to research into basic biology and diseases. And it's also used to to test the environment safety of a few of products such as cosmetics and household cleaners. There are two types of animal testing. One is animal testing for cosmetics and two is animal testing for medical medical products. Some people may think, I think that animal testing for cosmetics should be banned and the ones for medical products should not and blah, blah, blah. But in my opinion, animal testing Two, both types of animal testings should be banned. So for cosmetics, so for, medic, so for medical products. So why should we stop animal testing? So many people do not know this, but animal test, but animal, animals are just the same as us. We humans are animals. We evolved from animals and animals know how to suffer. They know how to struggle and they know how to feel pain just like us. Doing tests and ex tests and experiments on animals is just wrong. If animals should suffer, then we humans su should suffer too. Let me show you a few pictures of animals that suffer like this every day. I don't know how people can continue doing this. I mean, look at these. Would you like to be like this? No. And look, take a look at this mouse. They cut open its skin and put a win and replaced it with a window to look at the blood circulation and basically how its organs move. It's just wrong. So next are the alternatives to animal testing. You might be asking, if we don't do animal testing, then how can we know if medical products are safe for us or if cosmetics can actually make us prettier or help or help us in this or that way? Well, actually, there are many ways to replace animal testing. The first way is to do vitro testing. What is vitro testing? Vitro testing is where you take the DNA, a hair strand, or a small particle of a dead or living animal and put it on a test tube or test plate to do experiments on it. The second way is to do viral testing. It's similar to vitro testing, but instead to take bigger body parts of dead animals like eyes, skin, tails, or feet to do experiments on them and do the same thing as vitro testing. The third one is to do silico testing. By the name, you might think it has something to do with silicone or something. No, that's just silly. It's not about it. It's This is actually where you do a simulation on the computer. You can ask yourself what would happen if we do, did this to them. I don't really know much about silico testing. I just know that it's, made, it's a simulation on a computer and it's a great way to replace animal testing according to a lot of researches that I have done. And finally, a way that I don't think will help that much, but still is a very good way to replace animal testing, is that human, is humans volunteering. I know that on this planet, not everyone is selfish, not everyone is not brave, but some people are, are thoughtful and brave enough to donate their organs or, or volunteer to to let scientists experiment on them, just like we do to animals. This could also be a great opportunity for depressed or people that are ill and know that they are going to die, so that they could volunteer and they could die in a meaningful way. They could die by helping other people. Or, or you or you could ask the permission for for of those people so that after they die you could use those body parts to do any experiment on them 
So in conclusion, I would wrap to I would like to wrap all of this presentation up with a quote. Torturing any life is a crime. Nobody has the right to make other creatures suffer. I thank you very much for listening and I hope that you will just have a great day. Thank you very much.